Hi everyone, Rick Bray with BT BOCES Instructional Support, and in this video I'd like to show you how to upload files into Kami. Uh, that is done right through the Kami website, and right after you sign in, here is where you have the ability to pull some documents in. You'll notice I can pull them in from Google Drive, which is available to uh, free users, uh, and I can open them from my computer, which means I can pull in like Microsoft files or PDF files or JPEGs, things like that. Um, but that I think is reserved for uh, paid members. Uh, so you may notice like that will enact, uh, activate rather your uh, paid trial of the membership. But again, pulling from the computer, that's only available to paid members users, but again, I can pull anything in. Uh, I can also pull from Google Drive once I connect my account. And in both cases, whether I pull from my hard drive, like a Microsoft file, or whether I pull from Google, it's gonna take like this presentation, for example, maybe any file I want, let's do this one. And it's gonna pull it in as a PDF file and allow me to make those changes. Now, this is the important thing that we mentioned in an earlier video, once it finishes loading, the changes will only be available or only be seen on Cami's website, not in the Google presentation itself. So, right, if I go and draw on this slide, here's another nice thing is the drawing stays on that slide, it can uh, oh, it won't carry over. It notices the end of the slide. How handy. Um, but when I go back and look at my drive, let's take a peek at that real quick. Um, you'll notice that the annotations don't show up in drive, right? Here is that session I was, or uh, slide deck I was just looking at. And again, the annotations don't show up here. They only show up in Cami. Now, just something to think about. If I were to go and let's close that window. If I were to tell that file to open again, right? Sign in, and if I say open with Google, and I go through the same process, when I open that file, while there weren't any changes made on Google Drive per se, all right, I don't see any scribbles here, when I open it up, that uh, those annotations are tagged to the file, so you'll see that they still come over. So if you want like a fresh version, we're gonna talk about that in a later video. But that is how you can pull files into Kami. Uh, you'll also notice that when you sign in, that option uh, as to where to get files, you'll see that your recent files show up down here. So you can call up a recently uh, adjusted file. So there you go. That's how to upload files into Kami. If you have any questions on this or anything else EdTech related, please feel free to email me at rbray at btboces.org. You're welcome to subscribe to this channel to get updates when new videos are posted. And as always, thank you for watching.